Hello everyone, this is the Mining Geologist and I'm back again with another very cool trick that's going to save you a lot of time and we are still on the same topic here, getting the topography. So far we've covered two ways, one of them is to extract the topography from a raster uh, dam and how to extract it from Google Earth and now we are going to uh, see another trick that will give you the contours ready to use 25 meter you know uh, every 25 meter you will get a contour so uh, make sure to stick around and uh, enjoy the video of course don't forget to subscribe because you've noticed that 80 percent imagine 80 percent of the people who are watching my videos are actually not subscribers so please subscribe this is going to help us a lot and we will post more and uh, we made a deal with you guys if you're following us on our Facebook page make sure to join our Facebook page uh, check out our website and if you think that we're doing is what we're doing is useful support us on patreon um, and uh, like I said, 80% of the people who are watching the videos are not subscribers. So uh, go and check out our trainings. So we made a deal with you guys. If we reach uh, 10K uh, subscribers, we are going to release all our trainings for free on YouTube. So it's going to be free access to you. And of course, whenever you have a question, you can post it in the commands and we'll answer every single question that you have. Without further ado, let's get to the trick. So, it's another website actually. It's called the Open Dam. It's opendam.info. And uh, I'll leave the link in the description, or you can just go and type it in into the search bar. And then, what you can uh, see here, let me refresh the page, is that you will have this map. Okay, this is the world map. And you can see that there are, there are a bunch of squares in here. So if you zoom into any place in the world, uh, you can see these squares. Now I'm able to download the topography in any region in the, in the world. So for example, I'm interested in this uh, spot here. I can download uh, contours, a shapefile contour, ready to use. Uh, 20, every 25 meter, I'll have a contour. So how to do that? I'll go to download and then go to SRTM contours as SHP. So what this guy did is that he's taken that SRTM uh, dam that is available on the USGS website and created some sort of, you know, created the contours of the whole globe and made them available as SHP files, shape files that you can use in uh, almost any software like mining packages also you know, uh, support the SHP files or ArcGIS, QGIS or whatever software you're using. So if you go to download and then choose SRTM contours as SHP and then you can see what I can do now is I can go, I can uh, move to the web client and then let's say, uh, let's go to the same region there, the Colorado or whatever, I'll pick any uh, one of the places in here let's say I'm interested in this spot all I have to do is to hold shift in the keyboard and then draw a rectangle now this is going to pop up here and I can download that data so for example let's go and make that square that I've digitized a little bit further here so you can see that covers this place you will notice that I have two data sets in here not just one so the, this one and this one let's go and download just this one for a moment I download this as a zip file and let's go did I click this yes let's wait maybe let's open that in you uh, tab I've downloaded that it's uh, 9 megabytes I can open this later on. Open this and I can drag these and let me go and put them. Sorry. I will drag these and put them in the uh, folder here. 
And then if I take this shape file and drop it into QGIS, you will notice I will have a ready to use shape file, a almost high resolution topography. And this is just cool and amazing and saves you a lot of time. So I hope this uh, tutorial was useful for you and will save you a lot of time. Please, if you like what we're doing, make sure to like this video uh, and subscribe. Of course, if you have any question, whatever it is related to these subjects, or if you have any suggestion, make sure to leave it as a comment below and I'll make sure to answer every single one of them. See you in the next video.